Hi guys, are you applying to Georgetown and want to impress with the essays? Stick around, I have some young blood on the channel so we can drop some serious knowledge. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on my channel. For the best college essay advice, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Hello, hello. So today I am fortunate enough to be sitting with sophomore of Georgetown University, <laughs> Isa, and she's going to share kind of what she did to get in, what she learned, what she should have done something different, probably not because she's a genius, <laughs> but, um, but we're just going to learn all the little quick tips that she can share with us. So thank you for joining me on the channel. Uh, as you know, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance, and um, if you are working on your college essays or starting that in the summer, stay tuned to the end for a really, really important freebie. So first, hello, hello. Thank Hi. you so much for joining me. I know that you have, I don't know, a million other things that you could be doing than sweating with me in Miami weather. I know, I know. But thank you, thank you. And so, um, numero uno. How many schools did you apply to? What was the process of picking Georgetown? All that good stuff. I think I applied to nine or ten schools. Um, I made sure that it was they were all schools I really wanted to go to, which is why my list was smaller. Um, I also got into Georgetown early acceptance, um, so I ended up not applying to two other schools that I was going to apply to. Um, so I think that's a pretty average number. Yeah. Um, I went like winding down the schools. Um, just I waited until I got accepted to all of them, um, and then I just kind of evaluated like what city do I want to live in, what style of school do I want to go to. I really wanted a campus, and that's how I ended up. Uh, question two, anything you wish you would have done differently or slightly different in the overall college application process? Um, I think it was pretty good with um, timing, because like, okay. we started in the summer before my senior year, and so by the time that I had started school, we'd already done some supplements, yep. my main essay, um, so I think that was really important. Uh, I do wish I hadn't stressed so much over the subject tests, because... Georgetown says they're highly recommended and everyone else told me that that meant basically that they're required <laughs> um, but apparently not no. <laughs> I yeah. know so many people who didn't take them and they were accepted so yeah so rewind you heard that she did amazing on timing because she did start in the summer so she did start the main essay and supplements kind of before kind of gearing up for senior year because they don't tell you how busy you're gonna be in senior year I mean, no you think the teachers would kind of like be more lax, but no, 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 Senior no. year, first semester, yeah, really busy, so make sure you start early. Yeah, yeah. So if you're starting the process and you don't know where to start exactly with the essay, comment below. I'd love to help. So question three. How was your experience working with yours truly, <laughs> college essay tutor? <laughs> um, I had the best time working <laughs> with Josie. Um, she's amazing. I guess our writing style is just kind of fit. Yeah. Um, I would come in with like ideas or either like drafts of some supplements I'd want to do but the hardest part for me was writing uh, shorter essays and like just writing like having an idea and then actually like making it a uh, paragraph so yeah. she would help me a lot with that and then for my main essay um, I came in with like two different uh, subjects that I wanted to talk about um, and kind of drafts of them and then Josie helped me combine them uh, to my final essay which I ended up loving and I had that done before uh, senior year even started so it was like I used that for my common app I used that for the Georgetown one of the prompts um, and it just ended up like working perfectly yeah and the funny thing is that the two essays you completely had them full drafts but they felt like completely separate entities like yeah. two different topics completely but that's the kind of magic of working with Hello. You know, <laughs> we made those connections. We made, we kind of thread them through where it was not only topic, but you're kind of philosophizing on different, um, you know, critical thinking buzzwords like gendered expectations mm -hmm. and social media and youth culture today. It was really, really fascinating to kind of bring those together into one message. Yeah, and before Josie helped me, like I did not think they were be, uh, able to combine. So I was, I came with her telling her like. I need to decide between one of these and she was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> we'll combine them. We can do both. <laughs> so then, final question. What is one piece of advice you'd give to students starting the process now? I'd say the most important thing about like choosing your college is um, deciding what city you want to live in because, or at least making sure that the city and the campus life, if there is a campus, is suitable to you because I, like you're not spending your entire time yeah. in class. Um, so you really want to love the place you're in. 
Um, and yeah, the advice I'd say start early so you don't have to like cram it all in. Uh, and there's a lot of supplements more than you think. More than you think. <laughs> so yeah, and make sure to consider that you're also gonna have to be studying for the SAT and yeah. Right. No, no, for sure, for sure. And so think about in a few weeks, I will share with you guys some tips on how to research for why us essays. So like why this college, right? And so a ton of schools have those. And, and those are supplements that you can start and take a lot of work because you have to research the actual school beyond the brand. And I want to live in New York or I want to live in DC, right? So you really want to get to know them. But a bonus of that extra work is that you actually do get to start learning about the campus and school. So you really start vetting it beyond the brand power, which I think can be kind of deceiving sometimes. Um, so start early. So now that school is over, college app season is underway, you want to get started. If you want a nice college guide to kind of loosely give you some really great questions, kind of investigatory questions to start thinking how to deepen your topic and loosely find out where you should put what information, download the college essay, free college essay download below in the description and that can get you started. Any questions, comment below, anything you want to kind of start talking with me about, I would love to help. And if you like this uh, video, please give us a, a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, and share with your college bound friends. You will soon be a sophomore wherever you want to go. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Thank you and thank you Isa.